everyone welcome back to cyber security tv uh, this week we're gonna continue our uh, WAF bypass uh, series and and we're gonna talk about like you know two vulnerabilities which is file path traversal and the web shell and we're gonna talk about some payloads that we can use uh, which are not typically used by the scanners and like you know if you detect uh, the firewall uh, we can also uh, see like you know how to bypass those uh, so please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and let's get into it so file path traversal it's quite like you know uh, old vulnerability however still possible because of some of the legacy systems and and maybe some misconfigurations on the server side uh, so typically how it works is uh, you find a way to input your payload and then that payload actually interacts with the with the like you know a backend server and the server uh, be it windows or, or linux uh, you can uh, traverse the towards the path and then maybe also get the content of the directory and the file stored under the under the directory the most common file that the usually hackers would go after is the password file uh, or the keys file or, or maybe any sensitive file uh, which which may store some data so usually what have what we have seen is uh, you would try a payload like this slash etc slash password right and this is uh, quite common in the WAF rule set. Uh, any, any uh, like, you know, AWS managed or any general policy would have this rule in place. Uh, believe it or not, like uh, today, when I'm looking at several SIM system and, and I, IPS, and I can actually see this kind of attacks, like this kind of payloads being blocked or attempted by several hackers around the world on my client system, and, and it easily blocks it. So I think this is uh, this is still like you know uh, kind of a script kitty uh, where like you know the hackers doesn't know how, whether they're gonna get it or not, but they just run the scripts uh, with the available payloads and 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 hoping that something will some site will let him through. Uh, so yeah, instead of uh, doing that, and when you are doing the focus penetration testing, you you first want to obviously check whether they have a WAF or not and request if WAF can be disabled. If not, then you can you can take some of these payloads and, and try to bypass the uh, like you know WAF control and actually test the application control if it's going to let you do that or not. So uh, here uh, the first one, uh, of course, you don't want to use the EDC password. That's like too common. Uh, let's just uh, try. Uh, so here, what we are trying to do is between the EDC and password, you wanna put some random directory names and and suppose like you know WAF would see it and and maybe they will normalize the request. They will they will remove uh, like you know some of the content and and WAF will uh, see this uh, payload coming in and it will normalize the request. It will. Uh, remove the uh, some of this content and and some of the directory or the payload will will pass through the application. Uh, the another way uh, to deal with this is of course we have we have seen this uh, several times like you go back to the directory but also adding adding this character or the null character at the end might help some time because uh, the WAF may does may not be able to detect that. Uh, uh, like two slashes is also a good good way to do that. Uh, uh, often what WAF does is it actually going to just remove uh, one of the slash and, and let let you go through uh, the actual payload. Uh, the other thing I have also uh, seen is you can start with the ETC and end with the password and in between you can probably put some random payloads as long as you want like random directory names and, and usually what WAF does is it again going to like you know usually uh, the WAFs are not going to like you know uh, block all all the requests because some some may be a, a legitimate request so what it's going to do is it's just going to scrap through or, or, or remove the unwanted traffic or the malicious traffic and, and let the good traffic pass through and, and in, in that process WAF doesn't know which one is good traffic so here it will it will ignore it will like you know uh, delete the uh, whatever the directory you have mentioned in between and then uh, maybe uh, able to achieve your goal of actual uh, fetching the password directory and the next one is uh, of course you can add uh, any dot 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 or any other directories at the end like after the password and and, and hoping that uh, that will all be discarded at the WAF and you will get the password file uh, from the application 
so these are some of the payloads of course there are plenty more if you find some new uh, some other payloads let me know uh, i'll be uh, i'll be like you know happy to know uh, some new payloads as well uh, now uh, often like you know there is a remote file inclusion local uh, file inclusion kind of uh, vulnerability or or code execution so usually what we do is we we create this kind of uh, jsp php files and then uh, provide it to the application and then uh, these are some common names to be honest so uh, waf again as i said like it's a it's a rule based uh, control right so if it detects some common name of waf shells it's going to block the or request so what you want to do is first uh, pick a random name uh, don't pick a name like you know malware or 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 Trojan or, or some some obvious names uh, which we have for detect so apply like GSTY what I put here is completely random you can name whatever you want but just make sure it's not uh, it's not obvious for we have to spot that this could be a web shell uh, another thing you can do is like uh, appending this character at the end uh, to the JPEG file or whatever the, your uh, web shell is maybe you can also uh, do like a null character and, and that way also allows uh, uh, you can bypass the the WAF uh, as well. So I, I know this this is this was a pr pretty like you know short tutorial. I just wanted to show you like what are the other ways you can use to bypass uh, the WAF uh, following these payloads. There are there are many more out there uh, if you search the web. Uh, these are some of my experience, uh, but hopefully you find it useful. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you feel, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.